Hello everyone, my name is Greg Pear. I'm a Colex Level 2 Ambassador, and I wanted to show you a little bit about how quick and easy it is to get cards listed to Colex using Card Dealer Pro. Of course, you use a scanner with that and the software. I'm using the Fujitsu FI8170 scanner. I'll show you how that works in just a second, walk you through the whole process to get some cards listed. Great if you're doing a ton, a ton of cards, bulk cards. Card Dealer Pro is an online account, so this is what my online account looks like, the home screen. On the left side, Card Dealer Pro is made up of batches. These are all my current batches. A batch is a group of cards. I upload about 50 to 100 cards per batch. One thing that I like to do is I like to group all of my cards by price. So that way when I'm uploading the cards, all of these prices are $2 cards or $5 cards or $10 cards because the neat thing about Card Dealer Pro, you can set a global setting to say every card in this batch is going to be $10. Every card in this batch is near mint or better. So you don't have to painstakingly go through and set the condition or the price for every single card. And so you see that I've got, oh, for example, here's a B&G $3 football a batch of 24 cards and every card in that batch is near mint or better priced at three dollars. What's the difference between an open and a closed batch? Open means I have still have to review some things, proof everything, send it to collects. Closed means I've already done that. Uh, we're going to create a new batch but not before we scan our cards. Card Dealer Pro has a little application called a Trading Card Scanner that works great with the Fujitsu FI uh, the Fujitsu FI8170. That's what this little app looks like. And so to scan some images, you would click on the little app and say Scan Images. It's going to find the, the printer that is online sitting right here. We're going to go to it in just a second. I'm going to click on Start Scan. We are ready to start scanning some cards, and I'll see you over at the scanner. Okay, we're at the scanner, ready to scan our cards. We've told the software that uh, to be waiting for us, and so notice I'm putting in the cards complete with penny sleeve, upside down and facing away. Uh, you may have seen where some of these guys uh, put in a big stack at a time and just kind of sit back and let the scanner do it. Uh, they dump into fancy trays. I don't have that. I'm perfectly content feeding 50 or 100 cards in pretty quickly. You can see how quickly these are going. Um, and this is just 10 cards already. We are finished. And that's 10 cards scanned. I'll see you back at the computer. Okay, we're back at the computer and we are in Trading Card Scanner. You can see the 10 cards that we just scanned in. Obviously, there are 20 images. The scanner, the software, uh, knows that there is a front and a back, and so we actually have 20 images from our 10 cards. The cards are not yet in Card Dealer Pro. It's time to do that right now, so I'm going to click back on my online account of Card Dealer Pro. You remember the batches that I was talking about, so we need to add a batch. So let's add a batch. Let's call this batch name Demo Test football, uh, and I'm going to call it a dollar even though I'll probably sell them at 99 cents. Under assorted sports, we're going to choose football because that's what it is. We'll talk about templates maybe another time. We click on continue. These are global settings for the entire 10 cards. You can change them individually in just a second if we need to. I'll show you, but I'm going to choose near mint or better for the global and I'm going to put the sale price at 99 cents. All the boxes behind me have cards. Where am I going to store these? Let's put this in box three, row three. When I pull a pick list, it's going to tell me exactly where I can go find these cards. Pretty cool. You can also add other notes. So create a batch. Now the batch is saying, how do you want to bring these cards in this Card Dealer Pro? So we're going to use Magic Scan since it came from the scanner. The front and back sides. And now it's going to say, okay, where are we going to find those cards that you just scanned? So when we click on Upload, Trading Card Scanner, the software stored those in a folder called Scan Cards. And so there are the 20 images from the 10 cards. I'm just going to highlight and click on Upload. 
Now we are bringing them into Car Dealer Pro, into my batch, and here we are, just that simple. So now, if you notice on the left side, uh, th these are in draft mode. You see this button here? I'm going to go and do a visual test of every card and mark that ready to list. That's just my mental note to say I've, I've reviewed it very quickly. Uh, 1993 Pro Set Michael Irvin. Yes, there's the 99 cent default. There is the condition near mint or better default that we told for the whole batch. So I'm going to quickly go through and click Mark is ready to list. Here's Steve Young. It is also gold. Just as a note, the scanner may say, well, it could also be the Pro Set Power, um, but this one is the gold. And so we are just going to mark it as ready to list. There's a Boomer Isiason. Uh, there's the Greg Olson. Just for fun, what other two possible matches do we have here? Well, it's not the Atomic Refractor, so it's just the plain Jane score. Mark is ready to list. Yes. Kurt Warner. Ultra, yes. Panini Contenders draft picks Aaron Rodgers, looks good to me. Don Russ, number 108, Brett Farr, yes. There's the Peyton Manning, the Sheriff. So I'm going to mark these as ready to list. And finally, Mark is ready to list. And now we have all 10 cards ready to list. And watch how simple this is. This is really cool. You would go over here to the list button and you simply say send a collects, but before I hit that button, I want you to watch this bottom left part of the screen because that's where it's going to tell us the progress probably shouldn't take any longer than five or 10 seconds to get them up on collects. I am going to click send to collects. Ten items are being listed. This process may take a couple of minutes. It would be my guess that by the time I finish this second, it, uh, this sentence, it's going to say those are already on the marketplace. So don't make a liar out of me right now in hopefully just a couple of seconds. And let's see what happens here. Depends on internet speed and some of those other types of things. So normally this would say items are sent and uh, they are in collects anywhere from 5 to 10, 20, 30 seconds. It says this process may take a couple of minutes. The point is, when it's finished, it says those are on collects. So rather than make you wait and watch and extend this video, uh, we're going to jump over to collects and my phone and show you the listed cards. Okay, let's look for those cards on the Colex app. Here is my home feed. When I touch my listings, my collection, notice there are the 10 cards that we just scanned, starting with Big Ben all the way down to Michael Irvin. And take a look. The condition is there near mint like we set for our batch. The prices are all 99 cents. If we tap on, for example, Kurt Warner, it is indeed a 2001 Ultra, number two Kurt Warner. And so what a quick and easy way using Card Dealer Pro to list tons of cards quickly on Colex.